Good evening and welcome to News Channel 8. I'm Jerome Agian and here's some of the top stories we have for you tonight. The St. Croix rapist is finally caught. Saturated Patrols does it again. And BOGO sets the table for the upcoming Taurus Riley concert. These stories and more up next on News Channel 8. <laughs> Top story tonight, a serial rapist that's been terrorizing St. Croix's community is finally behind bars tonight. News Channel 8's Wes Small has that story and other police news as well. Thanks a lot, Jerome. We're in Frederickstead at the Cane Break apartment. Well, we're here at the Henry E. Rolson Airport and the total package is here right there. We have none other than the man himself, Mr. Everton Blender, talking about the Get Up People song. This is the man right here. He's here on the Big Island and he's about to take it to the stage tomorrow night down there at the Frederickstead Dock and they have cigarettes here. So, Everton, it's a long time you haven't been to St. Croix. Welcome back. Yeah, man. A blessed love and you don't know. We big up each and every one, the young, the old and the disabled. Everton Blender say, Major God and protect them all in their going out. And they're coming in from this time forth and forevermore. I want blessed love, you know. You know, a blessed love, a sub seat, you know. I said, definitely, man. I mean, today we was doing chit chatting with Taurus Riley. And Taurus, he can't wait to link up with you because new tune might boss, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So he said, Cause you are somebody that he always been looking up to in the music business. And it's an honor for him to be on stage with you tomorrow night. So, I mean, tell me, how does it feel to be like mixing amongst the youth? Not saying that you're old, eh? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not saying you're old. Yeah. Well, right now, you know, you don't know what's the thing going on. We have experienced people in the business, you know, you have young and you have the whole same way. You know, and I say, well, right now, we just say age a cage. But it's good to have to, the, the monks, the young artists also, because we did young one at a time, and we did you know, the music, like, say, burst out when enough, uh, what I call it now, enough mature artists was out there who, who in the business before you, like Dennis Brown, like um, Sugar Minor. Um, Johnny Clark, um, John Holt and all these virgins. So it is good to work with whether young or old. You know, we just want to know say we're carrying the same message or if we're not carrying the same message, you depend on a positive level. You depend on a positive level because we don't like the negative thing. Taros Riley is a youth where we encourage them youth there. We bring them youth there. They're kind of growing our eye. We love them youth there because they, they, they love the DJ when I talk. I was a youth, I see you for come sing. So, you know, it is nice to really share the stage with younger youth, you know, because, you know, it, it makes your blood come younger too. Yes, sir. <laughs> and as long as you got just standing by your side. You can't lose, you understand? So I just saw the thing set up, because we're the big monks, the young people, and just stay young every day, you know. Yes, so we now fight against young people. We love the young youths, then, because it becomes more fresher, you know. <laughs> so, Father, what you say, man? It's here, Everton is here, Taos is here, the whole crew is here. Well, Bogle, you don't know how it is. Everything sorted out. Everton Blender is here. We don't speak to Taras Riley. Right just letting the people them know. Just come out early and support the thing. And it's full joy itself. It's going to be total niceness, you know? So just, like I said, come out early. And you're in for a show of your lifetime. Aviculture Free Weekend. All the ones that came from St. Thomas, St. John, Tatola. You're going to be grateful that you came for our Aviculture Free Weekend. And come and take some of our culture. And carry a button blend around the place and lay greet and meet the people them and just give the people them enough love you know so I want to respect channel 8 for always coming and interviewing my artists then when they land on the stage to show the people them that they're here you know so no negative vibes can go wrong and say this one in here or that one in here or live from the airport you know so everything's straight so you know I like to let the people you know that the real deal is here so me and Everton just chit chat and Everton say what we got acapella something for us so listen Everton yeah man a blessed love man if a blender you want here I am if a blender you need take my aim but if a blender you love you must understand you're in love with a spiritual man if a blender you want here I am if a blender you need Think my aim, but if I blend that you love, you must understand. You're in love with a spiritual man. Watch how me move, watch how me flex, me deal with righteousness. I am my humble rasta man, not in a no contest. Empress, I must confess I love your natural beauty. Oh yes, I know that you're a cutie, cutie. 
I'm so tempted to touch, but I know one of us, so I'm a no in a no rush scene. I am willing to take my e time, even though she looking fine. Hey, if I blend that you want, Eva, the man I tell about a blessed love man and daughter there to Aisha blend and chop. A nice this man, brother, sin. Yes. I definitely, man, definitely. Uh, down on the dock tomorrow night, you got to check it out. It's all about She's Why, Everton Blender. You're going to have satellite. You're going to have tower threading. You're going to have mother night. You're going to have lava. You're going to have ambush. You're going to have junior P, the heart attack band. You're going to have UMB soldiers, the Madhu Astercy, Daddy Bob's of Dog Art International, DJ Eddie, and of course, MC Borg will be in the building. So definitely, you got to come on out and check it out. Go and get your ticket still. It's a place to be. The Frederick said that. Big up all the sponsors. That's how we do it. We're out. Give me like 20 seconds. Now I can drop this in the news. Tighten up, do another one. So he there, here, boom, 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 boom. I'm going to squeeze this in. Okay. I want it to get in the news. Okay, okay. Well, we have good news. The suspected rapist was caught yesterday afternoon around 4 o'clock in this area. He is. 36 year old Raphael Joseph. Apparently, this man had been terrorizing St. Croix from east to west. Sightings of him during the last three, four days or so, five days or so, um, from Christiansted to Frederickstead, areas like Campo Rico. I want to take you back. We believe it was Sunday afternoon that Raphael Joseph allegedly raped a victim at the Sandy Point area. Also, allegations that he had previously raped another victim the night before. Again, uh, thanks to tips from the community and also a good job by the VIPD. Finally, uh, this guy's behind bars where he should be. Saturated Patrol made some major achievements and arrests last night, and we can expect Saturated Patrol to be over this agriculture weekend, that's for sure. So make sure you don't drink and drive. We had at least two suspects that were picked up, and when they were ran by the computer, found out they had outstanding warrants and more heavier crimes than they were being charged with initially. So at least about four or five arrests from that saturated patrol. More important, at least two suspects, after they were tracked down by Information Highway on the computer, found out that they had been doing dirt stateside and the crimes much more heavier than they were initially found with here in the VI. With that, have a great time at the fair, at the uh, SIGA concert, whatever you're gonna do, make sure you don't drink and drive. At Cane Break, where we do have a suspected rapist behind bars, we can all breathe a little easier. I'm Wes Small for News Channel 8. Thanks, Wes, and that's good news. In other news tonight, a local artist has come out with some great calendars for Black History Month Here's Wes with more. Thanks a lot, Jerome. And we continue tying our culture with Black History Month. I'm here with Miss Laureen Robles, who is a retired educator, but she's not really ever retired, still giving it back to the community. And she's into calendars. And um, she made the 2010 and, and 2011 is up now. And she has a story, of course, about the passing of a great historian and storyteller, our matriarch of our society, Miss Delta Dorsch. And you are very fortunate enough to have given yeah. Miss Dorsch one of these calendars before we unfortunately um, saw her go to heaven. Thank yes. You. Okay, Wes, thank you so much for giving me this opportunity to present this calendar to our community. As an educator, I have felt the need for young people to know more about the history. And when they see that we have people that are great doctors and scientists and lawyers, you know, they can ascribe to being just as you know relevant to our time. And I wanted for our young people to know that in our history that we have great men and women who have contributed so much to our society. For each month, we have the name of an individual and also what they're known for, what they did that was so um, outstanding. We have even Lorraine Berry, um, she was one of our great senators. We have her in the month of February. And even in this calendar, we have um, our native dish, you know, because we need to know that we have food that are nutritious as well as tasty. And also we have Mona Barnes, who was the first command sergeant, and this is an honor. And we go through 
our calendar with Leona Watson, the great carousel singer, our cultural bearer, and also Henry Rawson. And I remember years ago they had an uproar because they had wanted to rename the airport in his honor. And a lot of our people did not even know this great man. He was a Tuskegee Airman, a pilot, and he paved the way for so many of our Virgin Islander um, people in the military. So we need to know about our heroes. We have John Maduro and Emma Blyden. I heard them talking about this great man who spoke about the importance of knowing your roots and also how to be proud of being a black person. And we keep going on and on throughout the calendar. And we even have our Hispanic Candido Guadalupe whom there is a housing community named after across from the school where I once worked. And then, as I said, Miss Dorsch, before she passed, I presented to her the calendar that explained and told about this great lady. And it gave me such a pleasure to know that she knew that we loved her and that we appreciated her for all that she has contributed to the Virgin Islands. So now this is my contribution to our Virgin Islands culture. And presently, I am selling these calendars at Treasurable Printing LLC, which is a local store just opened. And we're selling the calendars for $13 each. I've had our present governor and a past governor purchase these calendars, Department of Education, people have purchased it, but it's not in our, yes, but it's not in the curriculum. And this is what I'm saying. If they are a, if they see the importance of this knowledge, you know, why is it not in at least one of the libraries? Can I stop you there? Did yes. you see my show, my newscast with Eugene Carpenter? Yes, I'm yes, so yes, yes. I'm you did realize that almost every person you've mentioned is in the Who's Who book mm. written by Carbonair. And I have to tell you, and I really appreciate it, your response from the Carbonair interview was overwhelming. I really believe that he and other local authors and artists like this beautiful lady here should be in our school curriculum. Yes. Again, Miss Laureen Robles, thank you so much. And we can pick these calendars up where? Treasurable Printing in Plaza East. We are a local store. And we do all kinds of printing, mugs and everything for the local entrepreneurs. So come between the hours of 10 and 5 to purchase your calendar. Thank you, Ms. Robles. And please, let's get these into the school curriculum. Happy Black History Month. It is always a struggle. I'm Wes Small for News Channel 8. Thanks, Wes. Well, a lucky couple wants to say thank you after some good Samaritans returned their lost wallet. News Channel 8's Wes Small has more. Thanks a lot, Jerome. I'm here with Polly. And your husband is? Gary. Gary. And um, this is the story about, yes, there are good Samaritans around. And Polly, look, they have a, a wallet here. I guess y'all lost your your ID and all your belongings last Friday. You want to tell us, you want to thank some folks? We do. We want to thank Mr. Augustus Telemaca for turning in this wallet that contained Gary's That's ID. That's a familiar sounding name, the Telemark. Telemark family. They're, they're a very uh, good family here. And where did you lose it, you think? Somewhere <laughs> along the road, somehow. If you knew that, Gary, you would have found it, huh? <laughs> That's correct, Wes. Well, listen, we understand that y'all watch Channel 8 all the time. We do. And we sure appreciate that. Y'all are um, cruising, been here forever. And um, did you expect to get the wallet back? Yeah. You did? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. This is a lovely place and filled with lovely, um, honest people. There you go. Now, this is the fourth time it's happened. Yeah. Oh, that's why she, she puts her cell phone in back of your... <laughs> No problem, man. We all go there. <laughs> all right. So okay. congratulations. Same thing happened to me, believe it or not, in New York City. I lost my wallet, and a cab driver bought it in the Eyewitness News and returned it. Yeah. So there are good people out there. There are. Paulie and Gary, they got an angel out there. His name is Mr. Telemark, and he returned it. And all the hundreds of dollars were still in there, too, right? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. He ain't giving up his financial uh, holdings. <laughs> he knows he's got a hero out there. I'm Wes Small. Good things are happening for News Channel 8. Congratulations to that couple for their return of their wallet. 
And a natural healer has come to do a demonstration at the agricultural fair this weekend. News Channel 8's Wes Small is with Ross Bobby. Thanks a lot, Jerome. I'm with Ross Bobby. And um, all respect to Haile yes, Selassie. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. And he has healing and spiritual products that he's going to be doing at the agriculture fair. You know, uh, Channel 8 will have a booth. And um, tonight, he's at the Canagata Ballpark. Um, and you'll be there right after this newscast. He'll still be there, so you can go down and take part in that. Ross, tell us all about it, and welcome. Yes. Uh, well, I was here um, about a month ago uh, where, uh, during the, the fair that, that was held at the Canagata Center. And I guess everybody was i um, so happy to hear what I had to say. Another one was organized for this Friday, in fact. So this evening, I shall be at the Canagata Center, and I have decided to come here for the three days of the agricultural fair at the same time. That's wonderful. So, yes. And I know that you have elements to help, like for my arthritis and uh, bronchial asthma. I can't see good. I can't hear good. I got flat feet and polycystic kidneys. What do you say to all that? Yeah, well, I, I do have stuff. In fact, I have something called bladder rack flax. Bladder rack being a kelp um, indicates that it's high in iodine. Those people who lack in iodine tend to have a, uh, has a tendency to have thyroid problems or problems with the knees and joints. And so for arthritic and rheumatic conditions, we can treat with bladder rack. We also have green food powder, which is made of spiruline and cholera. And, anti, and, and other anti-inflammatory herbs. So even the Essiac and, and the Cascara for cleaning the system because we know the cause is the problem is really accumulated mucus in the joints in the case of arthritis and in the lungs in case of bronchitis. Wow. Well, I got to stop you there because we are running out of time. But Ross, Bobby, I really appreciate it, brother. And please pass by his tent or his booth um, because, you know, for healing and all the spiritual things that can help your body. Everything doesn't have to be done with a pill and the pharmaceutical company. Down here, I learned that during my 30 years or so in the Eastern Caribbean. Ross Bobby, all due respect. Thank you very much. Same to you and have a blessed day. Okay, and a good weekend too. I'm Wes Small for News Channel 8. Your weekend weather report and BOGO all coming up next. Stay with us on Channel 8.